everybody. Welcome back to What's Up Wednesday. I'm John LaTrefera, and today we're going to talk about a really tremendous feature in Google Classroom called Practice Sets, a transformative tool that teachers can use to provide students with more assessment opportunities, more uh, remediation and practice opportunities. It's really something special. So let's talk about it today, and then we're going to go ahead and make one together. Um, so just explaining what Practice Sets are, they're a powerful assessment tool designed to help educators create interactive and engaging learning opportunities. They work to enhance student learning and provide interactive practice opportunities, and teachers can create their own questions from scratch or upload existing PDFs to transform their own curriculum or existing curriculum into interactive and powerful assignments for students. Practice Sets is set up to give students automated hints, and suggest videos to help them get to the right answer. You can receive snapshots of student progress and real-time student insights, and you can enable auto grading for any practice set assignment you create. And also you can use multiple input devices for annotation for your students like a mouse, stylus, touchpad, or math keyboard. So now I'd love to get into creating a practice set. So let's do that. So here we are in Google Classroom. We're in math class. We're going to go to classwork and let's create an assignment. We're going to give it a title, adding fractions practice set. Give it some instructions. Complete by Friday. And we're going to go down here and click practice set. All right. So we're going to create that. And you can see the form format here is very self-explanatory, very simple and easy uh, to follow. You're gonna give it a title here. Adding fractions. So I already have a, a, a word problem for us, so let's, let's put that in here, real simple. Adding fractions with different denominators. Uh, Lisa had a delicious fruit salad for breakfast. She ate one third of a pineapple and one fourth of a watermelon. How much fruit did Lisa eat in total? Okay, so that is of the choices for answers. It's not a multi select, it's not a single select. Uh, or, no, it is a single select because there's only one answer. And that answer is, we're going to type it in now, seven twelfths. Okay, down here under skills, we wanna make sure students have access to hints later. And so let's see what skills they offer for us. Solve word problems involving fractions. Yep, and we also wanna make that even more specific, fractions with unlike denominators. Adding fractions with unlike denominators. Now when students, uh, maybe if they get stuck, they'll click on the light bulb and they'll have access to uh, videos and formulas and notes um, based on those skills. So that'll be great. Um, let's stop for one second and take a look at how this will look from a student perspective. And so this is what the student will see. And this is where they can do their work down here. They can erase, they can use this pencil feature. Okay. All right. And if they run into a problem and need a hint, they can click on this light bulb. And as you could see, uh, because we told it the skills to offer for students when they need hints, it now populates with some really great um, notes that will help the student solve this independently. Okay. So I'm going to dismiss this and let's go back to the teacher perspective. And I think we're done editing, so we're going to click done editing. And I think we're ready. I mean, usually our practice set would have more than one question on it, but this one is just for an example, so we're going to go ahead and attach it. So it's going to attach into the assignment and now we're going to assign it to our students. Very simple. So if we go out into our classroom, we'll see that that assignment is waiting for students. And that's how you make a practice set. So in a future video, we'll talk about um, how teachers can monitor um, and get some insights from how students perform on practice sets. But that's how simple it is to make a practice set. And that's, what, that's why practice sets are so terrific. So thanks for your time.
Take care.